Hello there everyone, this is Necklin Knight here in Scrap Mechanic. And I've been doing a little bit of reorganizing and farming. I've got my potato wall here for protection when I need it. I've got my trophy wall starting to fill up with a lot of uh, tote bot heads. Also, for all everyone that watches my videos, thank you. Uh, it really helps me out and gives me motivation to keep going. I know I'm not that big right now, but I do hope to grow. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimenting with a couple of things. First thing is pretty much a vacuum pump. I want to know how wide it can, uh, how wide of an area it can cover from how high it can cover. So that's one thing I'm going to be testing out. Because if done right, I might be able to automate a pump system or a vacuum system that comes down and vacuums up a bunch and then it either slides across or I build a bunch of them where they all drop down at once. Then uh, my other goal that I'm going for is basically a mounted spud gun and a uh, spud gun ammo chest because I want to start trying to get into some of the turrets that I want so let's get planting and then uh, I'll use my most effective defense weapon so far which is uh, pretty much my uh, lawnmower as I call it because it just takes out anything. I don't know how effective it will be against uh, farm bots and tape bots, but eventually I'll find out. As I don't know how much it takes to make uh, uh, the spud mounted spud gun and the ammo crate, but I'm also wanting to get component kits and all that other fun stuff, so let's water and then plant because I need to up my broccoli and my uh, pineapple seeds some. I know this is stupid to plant them this late, but hey, at least I've got Uh, things to play with until the raid comes. This is where I'm going to do my little experiment with the plants. Uh, what other plants do I need to... Uh, oranges, bananas, blueberries... Actually... Uh, yeah, let's grow some more bananas and some blueberries oh I'm starving where's my food here we are lots of beets alrighty I'm gonna need a bunch of buckets because I don't have a watering system set up for this place yet Oops, not that way. One, two, three. Let's just go like this. Alrighty. Uh, what else do I want? I don't need beets. Let's go potatoes. Can always use more ammo. Let's go grab my buckets. Jump in the water, scroll through, pop up. Ah. Dang it, come on. What the hell? Alright. Ah, dang it, I hate that. There we go. Now let's water this. Woohoo, got two for that one. 
one for that. And three for that one. Woo! Two for that one. I need to build steps. We. Ah, dang it. Come on. It's uh, picky about where it wants to be. Alrighty. Ah, uh, only one. That one again. What the flip? Ooh, three! Yeah! Oop, only two that time. Only one. Oh, and for those of you who haven't, don't know, but... These water containers, you can directly scoop out of them. Like, look. I'm aiming way out of the water, towards the wall there. Bam. Again, again, again. And there you go. It was sucking up at that moment. Although I did it slow, you might not have saw it. But it's a nice little trick I found out. I haven't really seen anyone commenting or talking about it, so I don't know how well known it is. And since a lot of people don't know about me, it's probably going to remain not well known for a little while. Until people start watching my videos more. There we go. All watered. And chuck. Holy crud, that had some hanging out time. Alrighty. That's all done. Oops, not that. There we go. Alrighty, now it's time for some a little bit of experimenting. Earlier, or a few episodes, I was talking about uh, getting my alarm to work. I did some experimenting, and I kind of figured it out by accident, I think. There might be easier ways to do it, but this is what I've found so far. What else am I missing? Switch. Do I have my connector? Okay. You're just for spinning. I need... There we are. I need one for that. I need the one for there, one for there. I need... One for there. One for there. One for there. Alrighty. And then... A switch. So we go into the connector connector into the bearing this is to give it spin so that it spins and has the siren effect uh, just put all these on 360 just because almost there also for those of you who haven't seen my other episode if you hold shift and then you drag, you can move it by increments of one. Which is going to be helpful for precision builds. Kind of wish I'd known about that a long time ago. Alrighty. Now I'm going to need... I, uh, that one goes to that. I think I need a nor... Nor... No, I don't remember. I do know I need a timer there that goes to there. Uh, put that into there. Put that into there. I might have... Yeah, I did it wrong. So, that is... And... And then I need to put this up to one, one second. And 
and then I think I might have one too many extra. No, wait. I needed one to shut this off. I think this was a nor. I don't think I need that one, but I don't remember. Okay, so this one is an extra one. So basically, if you create this little loop where you have an and, another and, an, uh, a nor, then you go to a timer, then you go to the other nor, you can effectively create it so that these fire off separate times. I'll load it up real quick to show. So, oops. Grab that on there. That goes to there. That goes there. And that one goes there. So now the sirens aren't going. And then we've got myself a siren. And it does exactly what I want. Oops, this needs to go on loop. There we go. Now we'll continue the spin and spin. And at night, you'll be able to see the lights um, flashing, basically. I didn't, uh, it's, the one thing that's fun about this game is experimentation. You try and figure out how to make problems work and make things, uh, get things that are effective all right well now that I've got the siren shown how to work I'll probably take this apart and use it for other experiments but I also have an idea of how to make my uh, effectively my uh, ember smacker or my big axe so I'm gonna need some of this, some, oh right, I need to work on this too, but that's not ready yet. So I'm gonna need this, this, I'm assuming the more you stack pistons on to each other, the harder and faster it gets. Because I think force is proportioned to speed and all that, which that's the thing they should do with these is have one for range one for speed and one for power or force that way you can choose fast and slow force or slow and fast or strong force that way you can have something that pushes really slow really hard at a very long distance because there are some things I wouldn't mind being able to push at a, uh, like that alrighty I'm gonna probably need some more blocks so um, <laughs> let's just grab some of these some of this not sure what all I'm gonna actually let's go grab a corner pipe uh, let's grab you uh, I think that's everything I need so uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna need to place you down Move you out of the way for now, grab you, place down, place down, place one of these, I think I want one going that way, 
Actually, all right, I can just put the switch right here. And then, just because... Place one there. And then... Uh, I want to be able to place at least a couple pistons. So, let's have you here. You here. The weak one in the center. Get that. And then... I think that's... steps real quick. There we go. I need to build a garage for uh, experimenting for stuff like this. Alrighty. I think I need one there. Uh, Okay, so I need to shift this over because I need one bearing here. Um, all right, well, let's just place. For one, uh, hold on a sec. I need that to go there because that's going to push this thing forward, and then I need a bearing here, and then I need this to latch up. Here, so I don't need this the area. Oops. And then place that there. Grab my well tool. Use my steps. goes that goes to there and I think I have it backwards but it doesn't really matter put into there put into there put it into there place down that Flip nugget. Come on. There we go. Alright. That should be it. I just gotta figure out which side has the most power, uh, let's put that to two, fast, two, fast, because that's not strong enough, put that to the fast, alrighty, I think I'm wanting to put this Right here. That's some wiggle. Woo! <laughs> Be 
head myself. Alright, this is kind of the idea I have. And in other words, using the force like this to smack me. And I think uh, too, uh, too far. I definitely need to upgrade this. Okay, this should work. Now, I don't know how this will work, but I'm gonna go fetch one more. Oh, it's almost time for the raid. Do I have another? might have to build another timer and another uh, block that still has a long ways to go I probably should get my uh, spud gun ammo get turn the siren on because I'm not sure how big this raid is gonna be and let's get ready for a fight oh wow a lot of hay bots bye <laughs> oh, I love that just <laughs> dead this is this is, this is like the best weapon ever uh. Other than that, those idiots over there, I think everything is dead. So let's go hammer him because he's not worth using spuds on when he's stuck like this. Now let's go turn off my sirens, which might be more effective if this was off. Or dim. Oh, yeah, much better. This gives a much better uh, effects to the sirens. Especially looking at it like this. That's awesome. Alright. Let's go turn this off. Because... Now let's go... Up the lights again. Definitely like the effects of that. But it's hard to see when you have so many bright white lights. <laughs> we Alrighty. Almost time to experiment with the sucker or the whatever you want to call it. I probably need to water these so that they don't just stop growing. Love my watering system, although with this, apparently, scrap mechanic does not like long solid objects, so I may have to break up this rail into multiple designs or different materials, or, or just some, yeah, probably break it into different materials. Same for these, and maybe this, like add in some designs and all that because that also contributes to lag and all that fun stuff do not enter for any bots oh that's the one thing that's uh, annoying about the uh, lawnmower it is effectively you're going to find arms in some of the strangest places because I had one like land on my vehicle over there 
I've had one as you just saw right there. Another tote bot head for the collection. Some more scrap metal. Actually, let's pull this out. I'll find the. Uh... I need to get that. This will help me find any random tote bot heads that might be out in the wild. Mine. I do have. Ooh, wrong way? Yeah, wrong way. This is where the oil pond is. I do have plans to build here at some point, and I still have plans to build there. But let's check out how much this is going. Ah, uh, It's literally just out of my render distance. There's my base. And I can see it. Can't see it. Can see it. Can't see it. Dang it. Maybe it's because of this is in my render distance that I can actually see it. Because I thought I I thought this was just within my range that I could have leave my uh, little chest there sucking going. Oh well. Alrighty. Let's get back. Once the crops are grown, I'm going to test out uh, how far uh, they have to be away to be able to suck and what's their maximum range and... This is what I mean by arms ending up in inch or whatever you want to call these ending up in interesting places. There's one way out here. I have no clue where the hell any others are. Alright, my entrance. Ooh, here we are. Um you know what? I can always replace that. I don't need this very much. I need to... Whee! Here we are. Alrighty. Now where's my pump? Where's the chest? I need an empty chest. I can make one real... Oh, there's one. I can make one real quick by changing things around. Now let's get the... Ooh, let's move that out of the way. Let's grab that. And then... Let's grab the chest or the vacuum. Slide that over. One, two, three... Four, five, I probably have to go up one more. Six. All right, six across, six up. Just too low for those. Nice. Alrighty. You need to go on here. Okay, well, that didn't work. Well, 
actually. There we go. Now, do I have another switch or do I need to find one? Actually, I sh let's check over here real quick. Nope. There's a button, so no. Food. I thought I had another switch somewhere. Um, where the hell is a switch? Oh well, let's uh, just make another one. Craft one. And then dump this in. And done. I notice these regain their power when you uh plug. See? Alrighty. You suck. Turn on. Uh not close enough. Oh, hey, I can upgrade. Two. Three. Four. Do I have this right? Oh, oops. I forgot. I gotta... One, two, three, uh, let's go one more down. Is that too low? Or do different crops give different results? Uh, I think different crops give different results. Because... I could have swore it took a nine by nine square. Huh. Oh, I know why. It's not centered over one of these perfectly. Okay. That's the problem. Because it only counts these and it's too far away to get that. And it's too far away to get that. So I need to center this vacuum over. Ah, come on. Here. So let's try this again. it is that over no I need to go back one all right centered so let's go put this back on let's move you there and then let's hook you back up yeah I think that was the problem because if you have a center over that it sucks up all these Since I sucked out there, there's really nothing else in the way there to, for this to effectively suck. So I guess for now, move that out of the way and call it good. So uh, let's show one more thing. You, when your crops are fully grown, you can smack them with a hammer. And just be like, dee 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 dee
That was another experiment I wanted to test. That was it. Ah, give me that. Um, I don't know if it's too high, but where are you at? Come on. Well, it's... Because if this works... Is it not giving it to me there? Fine, let's move you out here. Because if this works, this would make harvesting interesting. I'm thinking. It's because of the blocks. Fine, let's move you there and then try this. What the hell? Why is it... Fine. There, let's try there. Why the hell are you being so picky? being picky. Uh, well, that sucks. I thought it would work. Oh well. Let's uh, grab all this. And then call it uh, here. Uh, so, for now, I'll have to say... Uh, if you guys liked my video, please like it. If you didn't, please pass it on to people you think will. Because the more you guys help me, the more I can help you out. So for now, I hope you enjoyed. hope to see you next time. So, goodbye. And see ya.